Welcome to the video. My name is Agent Double Sonic, and in this video, you already saw 10 styles of Darth Maul. The styles are going to be right here listed. <sighs> It is a short video for 10 styles because I will be quite honest and the voiceover is going to take over now and I'm going to go to the filming part. I was not satisfied with how I did this. I originally created this first sketch and I realized two things. One, it has been very, 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 very long since I've done a video and I also am not that good at drawing humans. Duh. So I was trying to use the Clone War Darth Maul and I did this and as soon as I finished making this sketch and drawing it out and then I ended up coloring it after about an hour or so I realized this was a very 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 small area so I will show you at the end of the video what I did instead but one thing came down to it and it came down to me realizing I had already started on the 10 style so I just kept going with it I ended up going with the second style which was the peanuts which is by Charles Schultz you know Charlie Brown, Lucy, Snoopy, uh, Woodstock, think characters like that. What I've learned from doing these 10 styles is that these characters are very interesting. I learned the various styles, I learned the inking and everything, and <laughs> yeah, we're not going to spend too long on this. Going on to the third one, which was Looney Tunes. Now, Looney Tunes, if you have not seen the show, don't know how, because it's been around for, let me do a quick Google search. Wow. Anyways, so as I was doing it, I realized I had to outline it with a little bit thicker outline. So I decided to grab the blending pen that I used in the commission part two, I believe. I'll put the card in it right here. I wanted to keep the color kind of old school, so I used color pencil. Now I realized the lightsaber turned into swords because I realized the translation between each of these 10 styles was not going to go over well. Uh, this one, the facial structure had some. Elmer Fudd-esque to it, but the body I tried to imitate very well following uh, like Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny, a little bit of Marty Martian for like the shoes and everything. And I will review all these at the very end. Next one up was Bob's Burgers. Now, Jamie, if you see this, I do apologize. I've only seen maybe one episode in its entirety. I'm sorry. That being said, the character designs were very interesting. I was doing a little bit of research and I try I don't know the characters, but these were the characters that I looked at, the character models themselves, and I realized they all don't really have necks or anything like that. So yeah, that was interesting. Uh, colors again, I was trying to keep it true to it. I didn't use digital tablet or anything like that, so it was interesting. And then we got to the Simpsons. Now I did not know I've seen some of The Simpsons. I didn't know there was a Star Wars episode of The Simpsons. And Bart was Darth Maul. Or, no. That little evil baby that I guess is Maggie's enemy? Or whoever? Anyways, there was a Darth Maul in there. I didn't want to copy it and go from there. So I tried to use my own. I realized that the major part that was the selling point for The Simpsons was like their facial structure. About the nose, the eye expression, and the mouth. So I try to use that and go from there. As far as coloring went and inking, because these were going from older shows, I try to have heavier lines. So I used that blender pen again um, and just went from there. Coloring was not that well done. I'll be straight up shading. But like I said, I'll recover. I'll go over all these at the end. We're already halfway there, folks. We are on number six, which is Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yeah. Uh, the villains creeped me out, but although they were very uniquely designed, that show itself, very, very unique. I borrowed the sinister look and the smile, and I realized that the villains themselves were more angled and more sharp when it came to certain things. So I decided to enhance Darth Maul's face by giving him that really creepy wide uh, smile, more pointed, more super skinny, like gangly uh appendages and stuff like that coloring again we'll go back to it now on to number six tim burton uh, tim burton does a lot of claymation i know he's done like significantly more than just that but like i was going off of like the clay style and i realized very similar to courage cowardly dog and i try not to rely too heavy on that and still use my original reference which was the one up there in the corner but um what I did 
same body pose and everything like that. Thin neck, thin arms, appendages and everything. Thinner body to have that selling point. The eyes was like a main focus that I had to get done. So I put the bags under it, made it wide, very small pupils. Uh, colors were very light, very muddy. I will be 10,000% honest. This video was supposed to come out, I think, over two and a half weeks ago by the time you see this. I lost a lot of motivation doing a lot of art. Um, you will see in the next commission video, which I promise is coming, um, my care for this video and this entire project severely ended probably about the... Before I even really started, I started working on this, did not like it. I even got to a point where I wanted to scrap it by, I think, Bob's Burgers. I started losing a little bit of hope. I got through The Simpsons, didn't care. And then by the time I got the courage, my heart fell out of it. And that's why number seven, which is going to be the Marvel, I just, I didn't care. And it was the last stretch. I didn't, and I'm being 10,000% honest, it is severely terrible, god-awful, and I don't like it. I didn't like it at all. I'm not good with anatomy. I'm not good drawing people, and I was definitely not good drawing the Marvel one. I just did it to do it. I barely did a sketch. Then I just went and did it. You can, can't even tell what it is. There's no weight to it. There's no line to it. So I do apologize that number eight, we just scratch it all out. Just scratch it out. It's... I wasn't going to review it, and I'm still going to hold up. Going on to the number nine, which was The Misadventures of Flapjack in this character design. Again, it was at that time I was just not caring. The body was very loose, very interesting. I, the line, the... Anyways, Flapjack. Now, for the last and the final one, I was going to do a realism, but I decided to do it in the style of Ed and Eddie. If you've seen my channel before, I have done numerous videos of Ed and Eddie. It's my most comfortable I did this one, and I'm not going to lie, out of all these, it was the very end. It was the last one. I did it, finished it, boom, bam, it is done. Coloring was even better than all the other ones, and I realized by the time I got to this one, I've omitted so many parts since the fifth one. I forgot the entire, I don't know, skirt, pant thing, but yeah. So I did that one, and out of all ten of these... My favorite, best one, in my personal opinion, was the 10th one. It was Ed and Eddie. That was my favorite style, and that was the best one I did. And if you somehow stuck through all of that, uh, I do want to apologize. I know quantity over quality. Quality over quantity. Ooh. I do know quality over quantity is where it's at, and it's where I need to be at. Let me just say... What I was going to do was this one right here is what I had decided to do after I did the first one and realized I didn't have enough space. So I went and did this one, did the entire time lapse, which you are now watching of the entire thing. I liked how it came out. I liked how the color and shading was beautiful, beautiful. But when I finished it, as soon as I finished this piece and I went to start on the second part, which was the peanuts. I realized I could not switch the pose, and I guess, you know, I could have just restarted at that point, but I had already made the, the template, and originally I was trying to finish it to have it done, and then I just went through it with it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize for this being my first real video of 2023, and it being, I'm going to say it, being a dud. I do apologize. From this point on, though... I promise I will not do anything this poor quality. And I know this was for ADC. ADC, two things. One, happy belated birthday. This was originally supposed to be done back in October. Got delayed, pushed back anyways. Two, I apologize for giving such a subpar art piece, such a subpar video for someone who's done an amazing job at creating a huge art community and just being that guy that's just phenomenal. So I do apologize there. Um, for anyone else that's even watching at this point, thank you for watching. And yeah, I will see y'all in the next video. Peace, love, and hot sauce.
that's it. I'm, I'm done. I, I got stuff I got to get done. I got to do a lot of things. So, yeah. Yep, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Woo!